old blues man. He was a young blues man then. He's inventing something called Delta Blues. Get a letter bordered in black. Tell, tell you the woman you love is dead, you know. Got a letter this morning. Find your thing in red. Said hurry, hurry, cause. Girl, the love is dead. Got a letter this morning. Oh, Lord, I read you red. But that's the Delta Blues. Fortunately, the Delta Blues didn't just stay in the Delta, right? The piano players got a hold of those five notes, moved them up to Memphis, Chicago, Detroit, New York, before them they were doing songs like, well, Because they were looking for country folks. Folks who had moved from the country and were now working in the cities, but they missed their music. They found two important acts in Bristol. One was the Carter family. Era, uh, A.P. Carter, Sarah Carter, and Mother Maybell Carter. The other was a guy by the name of Jimmy Rogers. Jimmy Rogers had been working next to black railroad workers, and sometimes he sounded like a black railroad worker, but he was, act in fact, a white guy from Meridian, Mississippi. And when he got a chance to record his song, he, he took that shot. He used those same three chords and those same five notes, but of course, being a white guy, he changed. Became the father of country music, but then they're there, same five notes and the same three chords. In the great, in the Great Depression, those piano players started looking for work in black churches, and all of a sudden, black church music started sounding suspiciously like boogie woogie. They didn't call it church boogie woogie, they called it gospel. Yeah. Well, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. one of the most un-Negro kind of music you can imagine. <laughs> but there is blues and bluegrass in part because of a man named Arnold Schultz, black man who never recorded in Kentucky but taught a lot of influential people, including Ike Everly of the Everly Brothers fame and Merle Travis, but he also taught Bill Monroe the fundamentals of the 12-bar blues, but more importantly, Bill Monroe had a great guitar player by the name of Lester Flatt. Yeah. If you ever seen Lester Flatt, He's the guy on the Beverly Hillbillies who's standing in front of those double doors playing the guitar going, y'all come back now, hit That's Lester. In that little lick, that's the G run. So at the end of the bluegrass verse, Lester goes, I'm going down the road feeling bad, Lord. 
And he said, that's all right, baby. Sing back to me what I sing to you. So you guys are in the band. Sing back to me what I sing to you. Are you ready? Uh -huh. yeah. I say, are you ready? Yeah. All right, none of that Thanks. polite New Bedford stuff. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. tiny screen and it only gets three stations there is no cable folks young people there is no cable so means everybody watches the same thing at the same time Sunday night CBS you know who you watching it's ladies right. and gentlemen <laughs> have a really good show for you tonight <laughs> you're gonna like this young man who comes to us from Tupelo Mississippi by way of Memphis Tennessee uses three chords and five notes ladies and gentlemen <laughs> and the guy walks out of the stage and goes boom for the morning kids and white kids wanted to be Elvis. How many black kids and white kids wanted to be Chuck Berry, right? <laughs> Chuck Berry, a guy from St. Louis who rips off licks from Bill Monroe. I am a man, but does it to a blues beat and speeds it up and it becomes. for the first time from the different side of the tracks and they didn't care where it came from as long as it was cool. And so by the time five good looking black kids from Detroit tore in the deep and segregated south with a rope down the middle of the gymnasium to keep the black kids on one side and the white kids on the other side but they hear those five notes. The kids themselves get so excited they tear the rope down and dance together and why wouldn't they? It's the Temptations. I got such a on a cloudy day. When it's cold outside, I got a muffler. Say 
get with me. If you go back to the old death letter blues, Sun House, grouchy guy, going. I got a letter this morning, how thing it red, said, because the girl you love is dead. I got a letter this morning, oh Lord, I it red. Say, I ring it ring. Now, if Sunhouse recorded that in 2022, you know he'd have to get a producer, and the producer would give him a remix. He'd say, son, instead of doing each verse twice, do each verse once. Speed up the tempo of the song, fade the music out, and let the rhythm take over, in which case this becomes the 1928 Death Letter Blues 2022 The Remix. <laughs> Get ready, said. Hurry, hurry, cause the girl you love is dead. You know I packed up my suitcase, took off down the road. Then I got there, she was laying out on the cooling door. I eat up close and I took down in her face. You know the love you want, I just can't take your place. You see, like a thousand was standing by the funeral ground. I didn't know how much I love until they put my baby in the ground. Before my mom was dead, I walked away and said, hey, you know I love you, have to see you judge my day. You know I'm this morning, it was about to break a day and I was looking on the pillow where my baby used to lay. But then the church bowed down, I tried to pray, but the blues come along and they broke my spirit away. Woke up this morning about to break a day and I was looking on the pillow where my baby used to lay. and said, hush, the thought of her to cry. 